Hey everybody, welcome back to Tenza Motorsports. We are here in my new vinyl area. This is one of our spare bedrooms in our new house that is set up for doing all my vinyls and things like that. Uh, I've got some knickknacks. Uh, this is my shelf. Uh, I'm not sure if I've shown everybody, but I, I do have a Hot Wheels shelf because of course, uh, what car guy doesn't have some Hot Wheels? So it's a little bit of a mess because we're still trying to get everything figured out and moved in. Uh, just replace some lighting in here, things like that. But this is going to be my space. So uh, you've seen me uh, in a vinyl area before where I was working on um, decals and things like that. This is going to be where we do it from here on out. Today we're finally going to be redoing these steering wheels. We talked about this a, a couple weeks in a row now, but we're going to be going through and re-wrapping this. The other one is actually vinyl wrapped and we'll go over that in just a little bit and why the other one is kind of partially done. I've been like showing the parts that are done to show off the giveaway, but we'll go over all of that in just a moment. Before we get into today's video, if you wanna win one of these two steering wheels, all you have to do is be following us on Instagram, Tenza underscore motorsports. Also make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube if you haven't already and make sure you like if you enjoy this type of content. So yes, two E46 M3 steering wheels. I've said it in the past as well. I'm not sure exactly what models these will fit on if it's just strictly E46. I've never really moved around steering wheels very much. If I have, it's, it's just removing these and then putting aftermarket ones on. So this one is the one that is partially done. This is actually the worst steering wheel. There's a chunk of leather missing up here and I've got some filler in there so that when you put this down, you no longer see it. My biggest concern is that this spins and there's supposed to be double back tape in here, but what I didn't want to do is I didn't want to double back tape it if I needed to move the cover. I think I'm just going to trust how it's supposed to fit. I'm going to run the double back tape on it. This goes top dead center and the cutout for this lower section is right in the bottom. So I'm going to set it up like that and then we'll stitch it. The reason this one isn't done is because I wanted to stitch this side and see where it needed to fit and then put the double back tape and stitch the rest of it and then come back through and undo it and then put the double back tape in it. So kind of do, doing it in sections, but supposedly you just put this top dead center, make sure the bottom's where it is supposed to be. And that's it. The kits are these ones right here. They're really not that expensive. You can find them really, really cheap. These ones are a little bit nicer than just like the $10 ones. You can see that there is the red and the blue. And then the dark blue is actually what you'll sew with. So we'll get into this kit. In fact, let's go over to the desk. We'll unbox this. I'll show everything that's in it. That's a little bit difficult to do standing up. All right, so this is gonna be the kit. Uh, the boxing might vary slightly depending on which uh, company brand you get yours through. This one's Moo Art. So it's just, they're coming out of China, so your packaging's probably gonna change. And I'll have the ones, uh, if they're still available, because I, I bought these a while back, I'll have these linked in the description. But when you open them up, you'll have the steering wheel wrap itself. Like I showed earlier, you've got your red and your light blue, and then you'll be stitching with your dark blue. And then here's the top of it. And then we got the perforated. So they're both the same. Uh, both steering wheels will have the same wrap on them. And then the rest of this kit looks like this. So they give you uh, plenty of string, which is good because if you mess up or have to go back or cut it or, or, or break it, uh, there is plenty left over. Uh, here is that double back tape. Uh, here is a pry tool. I'm not sure exactly what you would need to pry, but they give you a pry tool and then there is a, a thimble, but it's more like a, a, a ring style a thimble. Don't poke yourself. And then here is the instructions and it basically it shows uh, how to thread it. Let's see, let's actually, cause I've done, I've done some of this. So I know a little bit of insight to tell you guys. Right here it shows that you wanna make sure you go th all the way through the thread, that you're not like putting the needle through the middle of one of the threads. And the other thing is you wanna be careful about how tight you pull, cause these are fairly loose. And so you don't want to be like cranking on it because you'll pull the stitching, the stitching out. And then what else here? Yep. So basically tear your whole string wheel apart. You'll put the double back tape on it. So yeah, let's, uh, let's stop talking and get into it.
All right, so here it is all stitched up and I'm gonna give you guys some pointers that I wish I would have known before starting this. So I think I mentioned this, um, the hardest thing about this is getting this double back tape on the steering wheel and then being able to adjust this. So I lined up the stripes on the top and I lined up this cutout here at the bottom and I made sure that I just went based on that. It is still a little bit tight, so you can see here there, there is some extra fabric, so I'm gonna have to pull and yank and then add a little bit of, uh, of some of this tape to make sure I'm holding these edges down. The thing that's nice about this is the edge of this will actually cover that. So if you can get it flat just up until here, this will hold it down the rest of the way. The other thing is that this seam here this seam here, so there's four of them. So you got one, two, three, and four. And this one in the middle. You need to make sure you've got a lot of this around those areas because these are the points where it's really difficult to get it down. And you don't want to be pulling so hard that you snap the threads. And I had to really crank on some of these, and so it made me a little bit nervous, um, the edges. So where you start and end, you wanna make sure you have a lot of the tape. Basically, the, the, the overview for this is make sure that your steering wheel is centered and that you've got tape at the beginning, the end, and then around these seams. The other thing I was fighting a little bit was holding the steering wheel. It's kind of a pain to, especially where I was doing it on the table to show you guys, but it's, it's not super easy to hold the steering wheel while you're working on this and you end up poking yourself and all sorts of stuff and that's why they give you thimbles, but, um, the biggest thing that I fought was like, you can see this seam here, it doesn't line up. And it kind of bothers me. This one's a little bit better, but this one doesn't quite line up. And the reason for that is that if you just go based on the stitching that's already on the wrap, you start running it up the edge, sometimes these don't line up very well. And then because you've got it double back taped all over the steering wheel, it's hard to pull them right or left. So I'm gonna adjust this one just a smidge and see if I can't play with that. Uh, right here was a little bit tight. I almost want to like, I almost want to like start in the middle. So like right here, these stripes, I'm not sure if you can see this on camera, but they're like, they are super close, but they're just slightly off. And there was nothing I could do about it. I yanked and pulled on it. And it's almost like, I wish I could start here and then stitch back. And I, I did do that a few times where I will actually go and stitch one direction and figure out where it ends. Um, it, it takes more time because then you've got to undo it. But the other thing that's nice about that is because you've stitched it and you started to pull it and you let it sit for a little bit and you work the other side or another section, when you come back to it, it, it's sitting more where it needs to be instead of just you know completely flat like they come out of the box. So anyways, yeah, if, if you follow those quick little tips and tricks, uh, it makes the process a ton easier. So I'm going to clean up these edges here and you'll get to see what one of these looks like when they're completely done. I won't be doing the other one on camera, um, but it'll just be the same process because it's the exact same wrap. I really do like this uh, brand. They give you plenty of string. So here's some leftover string. The material feels really nice. It smells really good, but it's very tough. And when you're pulling on some of these stitches here, you can really crank on them. Um, if you rip one out, uh, you'd be I don't know how you'd fix it, but I was able to pull on them really tight. So yeah, overall, I am very happy with this kit. Like I said, I've just got a little bit of, uh, I've got the finishing work. So all of the edges aren't, none of the edges are done. Uh, I've got to pull them tight and, and tie them off. But yeah, I want to show what this is going to look like before we end today's video. And I really appreciate everybody so much for watching. Any comments or questions down in the comment section below. We'll see everybody in the next one.
Bam!